Hey guys, it's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install an SSD into your MacBook Pro as a secondary drive. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to remove the optical drive from the MacBook Pro, and then we're going to put the optical drive into an um, enclosure so that we could use it as an external USB DVD burner. Then we're going to install this little caddy so that we could add the SSD as a like as a second uh, storage device and then we're going to install our 64 gig SSD into this caddy so basically uh, let me just show you some of these products really quick this is the enclosure for the optical drive um, inside there's just a little uh, area where you plug in the optical drive and it also comes with a little faceplate uh, since the super drive is slot loading, you won't need the faceplate at all. And it has some rubber feet. You get a USB cable. And you get a USB power cable. You get a little screwdriver, some extra screws. A little driver disc, not that you even need this. And then you get a little instruction manual that is in a couple different languages. So I'm going to get rid of the stuff we don't really need. And then here is the SSD caddy, and this will let us replace the optical optical drive with this caddy. Then we can just stick the SSD in here, and we can just mount, mount it where the optical drive used to go. And you could use this as a secondary storage device. And it also came with some screws. Uh, the little enclosure for the optical drive, this was about 10 bucks on eBay, and it came here within five days. And this was about 25 bucks, and I got here within five days as well. And the seller was nice enough to give me express shipping, so I saved about a week and a half of shipping time. And then I already did an unboxing of the 64 gig SSD that we'll be using. So the first thing that you need to do is remove the 10 screws on the bottom plate of your MacBook Pro. So once you have all 10 screws removed from the bottom plate of your laptop, you can just go ahead and lift it up. And here we have the battery. Here we have the 500 gig 7200 RPM hard drive. Here we have the optical drive. And here we have the CPU and the GPU. And then, of course, here are the RAM sticks. So to take the optical drive out, there are one, two, uh, three, four, five screws that you need to look at. There's one here, here, there's a couple here. And there's one more over here under the heat sink. And then once you take the five screws out, you can just take the optical drive out. Here is the slot loading area. And we're going to go ahead and take our enclosure. Then we're going to find out how we need to slide the optical drive in. Over on the left side, we have the SATA connection. And on the optical drive, there's this little SATA connector. And this end connects right down that little spot. So you just need to slide this off because we'll be putting this on our caddy. And then just go ahead and slide the optical drive into the enclosure. And I just found out that there are two more screws on the optical drive that you have to remove, because it has this little hinge right here, and you have to take that off for the uh, super drive to properly go all the way inside of the enclosure. So we're going to take these two off, and we also might need this little hinge for when we need to, we might need to put this little thing on the caddy. So once you take that off, you could go ahead and try your uh, enclosure installation again. Just slide it in. And now we're going to move on to the installation of the caddy, which is this. And we're also going to put in the SSD at the same time, just to save a step. So you just take your SSD, line it up with the SATA connection on the caddy, and you just slide it in. You may need to take this little black railing off in order to fully uh, slide the SSD into the caddy. Just slide it in. And we can see if we can put this back and just like that so that it won't move around. So now we're going to put the caddy back in the computer. We take this blue protective film off first. So 
So it looks as if it goes downwards, like so. Oh, but first we need to take our SATA connection and then put that on the caddy. Because without that, this would be pretty much useless. So finally, um, you've got your uh, SATA caddy installed in place of your optical drive. And it actually took me about 25 minutes to get these things screwed in there. Because they usually kept falling out and I had to take them out and stuff. So, the final step is to basically put the bottom plate back on your computer. And then once you do that, you go ahead and power it up. And I already have my two operating systems installed onto the SSD, and I also have the other three on the hard drive. So if you have refit installed, it should show five different operating systems. And that's about it with this video. And uh, so you basically added a second hard drive or solid state drive to your MacBook Pro, and you could use both of them at the same time for various storage and things like that. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. You could leave any questions down below and I'll answer them. So I guess that's it. So we'll see you later.